Alright guys, welcome back to General Purpose TV where I do stuff in my garage. Uh, lately I've been building a guitar. Today I'm going to test out something I bought for my shop vac dust collection system. So if this is something you're into, I hope you stick around. Like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. Alright, let's get started. So. Kiss me, you fool. Kiss me. What I have going on here is I just have a typical Home Depot shop vac. And I ran PVC pipe to around my shop over to my equipment. And I have three ports. One for my chop saw one for my sanding station and another one that I hook up to my table saw and my belt sander and then I'll hook on some attachments when I want to clean up a workpiece or my tool things like that so it works really well but the problem is when I use uh, sanding machines like my belt sander and things like that the dust is really fine and it clogs up the shop vac filter pretty quickly and once that happens you lose suction obviously and it's not as effective so I found a bunch of videos online where you can make a homemade cyclone uh, to separate the dust from the shop vac and I'll put a link or a card in the video for uh, the video that I found for for making that so I want to just show you what that looks like and I've been using this uh, for a number of hours sanding sawing things like that and collecting a lot of dust and uh, I'll show you what it looks like now in terms of how much dust the cyclone pulled in and how much bypassed the cyclone and made it into the shop vac and I'll show you what the filter looks like and why I wanted to do something a little different but let me pull this apart so basically the the cyclone is two Home Depot buckets that uh, I cut the rim off one of them so that they would kind of connect together and I've got two ports one goes to my um, shop vac and the other one goes out to the piping that goes to each individual tool. Now, if you open this up, you can see the inside. I've got a couple of one PVC pipe with a couple of elbows, and it kind of aims it towards the side of the bucket, and that creates a circular um, effect or a cyclone effect when the dust enters. And the goal is to have it settle at the bottom of the bucket and I just have a couple of ports here that I can open and close now you can see I've been using this like I said for a number of hours and I've got a little bit of dust yeah at the bottom of the bucket more uh, a lot less than I thought I should have because I've been doing a lot of sanding and sawing now let's take a look inside the shop back and see how much dust made it into the shop back. So you can see there's almost more dust in there than in my Cyclone. And my filter is a mess. And this is uh, what happens. It gets all clogged up like this. And, and it doesn't, you lose a lot of suction. And you can kind of tell when you're using a one of these attachments you can just tell it doesn't have the suction that it normally does so here's what we're gonna do uh, I bought something I found something I was in uh, Home Depot and they had something on the shelf I figure I would 
test out and see if it's any better. So let's take a closer look at that. So what I found was dust stopper. And it says here, collects 99% of the dust. So this was about 40 bucks and homemade thing cyclone that I built was probably 10 bucks in parts. Some of the uh, PVC I had, I bought a couple buckets and one or two fittings and the rest I had. So for 10 bucks, we had the uh, so so thing. And for 40 bucks, we're gonna check this guy out. So let's see what it comes with. Comes with a little short pipe, that's cool. Could use one of those. An elbow. And the, the cyclone device. See, it's got like a baffle and an inlet. And I'm just going to glance at the instructions. Okay, so it looks like the top port goes to the vacuum with the provided hose. And this port goes to your tool. And what they want you to do is put this on top of just one of the buckets. So we'll eliminate the top bucket that I had in my homemade cyclone. We'll put this on top of the other one. And we're going to test it out. I also got a new filter because I want to do a test run now. I'm going to dump out all that dust onto the floor. We'll put all new stuff on new filter the dust stopper and we'll we'll vacuum it up and we'll we'll do our test all right so let's assemble this so i'm going to dump out this dust let's see how much we got here all right it's quite a bit this just snaps on okay Hose to vacuum. Okay. Now, I also, I want to change out, I'm going to dump, change out this filter and dump out all the dust and debris that is in here. So this filter's coming off. really on there folks there we go Woo! she's dusty so this pile here was in the shop vac. That pile there was in my homemade cyclone. So we'll s we're going to vacuum it all up and see how much makes it into the shop vac and my brand new filter. Put this guy on. Plug her in. So I'm not going to hook it up to my uh, my central vac. I'm just going to use a short hose to to do all this uh, testing here. All right. Now for the test. Three, two, one. Okay. 
you can see the dust cyclone see it going around that's pretty cool Ah, oh, that's satisfying. Alright, so that's all the dust that was inside of the shop back. Now, this was in my old cyclone. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Definitely has a lot more suction, I'll tell you that, with the new filter and the setup. Now I have another pile here. I just swept up the garage before I shot the video. We're just going to sweep this up too. Definitely has more suction. Screws, pieces of wood. All right. Now for the reveal. First, let's open up. This, oh man, static electricity. You hear that? It's like static electricity. All right, let's check this out. So you can see on this little baffle, honeycomb baffle, there's some dust. It's not too bad. Let's look on the inside here. Wow, that's everything. Woo! It's a lot of dust. Not bad. Let's look on the inside of the shop back. That's the key. So the filter looks pretty good. There's dust, a little dust, not too bad, no clogging, and inside there is nothing. I mean, that is so, such a small amount there. And remember, that's, um, that's vacuuming everything from my old Cyclone and what was inside the shop vac before making this switch over and everything I swept up from the floor before making the video. So it got all of that into the Home Depot bucket with the Cyclone. I'd say that works pretty well. I would say it did in fact get 99% of the dirt and debris. So I would definitely recommend this product. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a good addition to my dust collection system. and. I'll put a link to this in my description. And I appreciate everybody watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time.